everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiffany Benson, one part of Team Benson, and today in the first is the first time in a very long time that I have a harvest. So it's not a huge one, but it is one. So I'm pretty excited about that. So before we get to that, guys, this bed is doing so well. I'm pretty excited about it. I am planting out some of the things that were in that we're growing growing inside so it's starting to fill up everything is really starting to fill up now I'm gonna go over here and grab my little bu bucket I'm also guys gonna cut this open and see what it tastes like inside maybe it taste it but I'm gonna definitely see what it looks like inside <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to do is grab my shishita peppers. I've already started grabbing a few of them and then I was like, oh yeah, I need to film this. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how full these shishito peppers are and then I'm going to go ahead and harvest them. So look at this guys. We have a ton of them all over here. Now I'm going to pick shishitos that are about this size and larger. The uh, ones that are smaller, I'm going to leave. And I'm also going to pick ones that I think are very shiny too as well and have a nice crinkle to them. Now if it's this size, I'm going to leave it. But we're going to get them off of all three plants. Look at that guys. That's a nice little bucket of peppers. Now I did leave a few of them on there. I'm not actually going to cook these until tomorrow. So I'm going to give the other ones one more full day and see if I can pick those too. Now, the other thing I'm gonna be growing today are some herbs. I let two of my herb plants grow out because I want to make some, one chive butter, and two, I wanna dry some for Italian seasoning. So, in my herb bed, it's my kitchen herb bed where I basically just come out here and grab things as I need them throughout the week. I do have two things that are very, very overgrown. Actually, I have three, so I'm gonna be picking all three of those today. So this is my kitchen herb bed. It's so nice because I can just come out here and just pick what I need for dinner at the moment and it's all very, very fresh. Now this row right here, I have been growing out. This one is marjoram and then this one is Greek oregano and then these ones are, ch this, this is chives. <laughs> oh my God, if I can talk. So I'm gonna make chive butter with these and then with these ones, I'm going to make some um, dry it and then I'm gonna make some seasoning now all I'm gonna do is just grab it and cut it and give it like a haircut okay so as you can see I gave the chives the haircut and I gave the marjoram a haircut I left the oregano because it's starting to root down um, so it's starting to spread a little bit and I want it to get a little bit more of a spread on it and start to grow a little bit taller before I start grabbing at that one I do have some oregano from last year or last season um, earlier in the spring so I'm gonna use that to make my Italian seasoning but yes just got a nice little haircut the next thing I'm going after is my mint now the nice part about mint is that once you start cutting on it it pretty much bushes out and I would love to have this little guy really filled up with really bushy mint because I want to dry as much as I can and get it in my containers before the summer hits and it dies all right guys so here is my basket of greatness now it's totally possible for you to preserve your herbs in a small space garden I know a lot of you guys may not think so because you can only grow so many things and they can only get so big but if you dry them as they grow and let them grow out to a certain size clip them dry them Keep letting them grow out to a certain size clip them and dry them and kind of keep up with that routine then you uh, will for sure have a nice sized jar of herbs in a couple of weeks so it actually doesn't take as long as you might think so remember you don't have to wait till it gets super super big you can cut it and let it grow back and start drying your herbs so that then you too can preserve in your small space garden so let's cut and open this melon it smells so good. I wish it wasn't completely ruined, but I'm wondering if I can save seeds out of it. Okay, guys, so I have a ridiculously large knife. Let's cut it open and see what happens. It feels really soft on that end, so I'm gonna avoid that end first. And let's try cutting into here. 
Ugh, it smells so good. But look, I have some seeds. So at least I am gonna be able to save these seeds. Um, I love growing midget cantaloupe. And midget cantaloupe is one of the things I love to include in my giveaways too as well. But that's what it looks like. Now this is probably gonna be super disgusting, but I'm gonna try it because it smells really good. That tastes so bad. Ah, it, you know, it doesn't taste horrible, but it does taste like it's not finished growing. But at least I have some seeds. All right guys, so that's a taste I'm not gonna get out of my mouth <laughs> in a while. But I'm truly grateful to be able to start harvesting things. Like look at this little basket, that is beautiful. You know, it's been a really rough summer and at some points I was just like, this is ridiculous. I think with the pandemic and everything going, it made me feel a little bit more stressed about making things perfect versus just doing what I've always done and just come out here and have fun. So I'm back to that, which I'm very grateful for. And I hope you guys are getting there too or having a lot of success, for, success with your gardens. But until next time, grow yourselves a garden because even a small space can provide you with tons of food. Bye guys.